then multiply by 1,500. You see, it doesn't matter the order in which you multiply as long as you don't round the numbers. Two. Just can't round it. 225. 225? Yeah. The interest is $225. So you can figure out the total amount due at the end of nine months by adding that together. You're going to owe $1,725. You ready to try one on your own? No, let's do this. Let's say your, your buddy comes to you and goes, hey, I got a great deal. I'm going to give you 10% uh, interest over eight months. You just got to put in some money. I'll give you some money back for it. So it's, a quick, it's a quick investment, eight, only eight months. So you go, all right, I got 34 grand. So I want you to invest $34,000 with this guy for eight months at 10% interest. for eight months at 10% interest. Why don't you see how much money you're going to make? By the way, you don't have to memorize the formulas for simple interest and compound interest, which we're going to talk about in a second. I'll give them to you on the board uh, during your test. You don't have to memorize them. You probably will memorize that one just because you'll be working with it a lot. Maybe even the <coughs> next one, but you don't, you're not required to. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what is your principle in this particular case? <coughs> what is your interest rate? 10%. So you're going to put what down on your paper? Now your time, you, you can't put the 8. you got to do 8 over 12 because you're talking about months. So you're talking about really 8 twelfths of a month or 2 thirds. 0. 0.6666666. Right? But don't round that. If you round it, you might be off by pennies. So here's how to do this. 8 twelfths. Here's how to do this without rounding. What you do is you punch in this number first, 8 twelfths first. Then you work your way backwards. So do 8 divided by 12, press enter. Then multiply by 0 0.1, press enter. And then multiply by 34,000, press enter. That will make it so that you don't round it all until the very last step. Did you get it? Yeah. What do you get? You guys sound like robots. <laughs> two, two, six, six, point six, 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 seven. That was funny. Wait, two, five, six, 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 point six, 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 seven. Okay, so we're rounding to the pennies because we're talking about pennies here. Would you do the investment? If you had $34,000 and someone came to you and said, give me your money for eight months, you got to trust me. But if you give me your money for eight months, I'll give you back your thirty-four thousand, and on top of that, two thousand two hundred sixty-six bucks. Depends on the friend. Depends on the friend for me too. But if it's someone I trust, yeah, probably, because they'd give me back some money. I'd make two grand in six months it's more than for doing nothing. It's not bad. Oh, no. wait. You get a uh, you get about point one percent, point one percent in the bank right now. Not even ten percent. Not even one percent. You get like point one percent. So you round it though, like round to the pennies. Well, at the end. At the very end. You cannot round at any step before that because you might be off on your pennies. Right? You cannot, that's why I told you to do it this way. If you do this and you go, oh, that's about 0.7, and then you, you do, it, it's going to be off. You, you're going to be off there. So you, you cannot round until the very, very last step with the money. Do you understand? Okay. Now, this actually is not very realistic. 
the simple interest. It, it, it's realistic if you got money from a friend or from, from an individual. But like the credit card example, do you guys have credit cards? Yeah. If you have a credit card, you know that if you don't pay your balance, you get charged interest every month, don't you? So if you have like $1,000 in your credit card, you get charged interest, now it's like $1,020, right? If you didn't buy anything else. Still. And then the next month, if you don't pay it still, you'll get charged interest on $1,020, won't you? You're like $1,041 or something like that. Then the next month, if you don't, get, don't pay that off, you're getting charged interest on $1,041. Do you see how you're now getting charged interest on the interest that you just accrued? Do you see what I'm talking about? Same thing works with the bank. If you have money in a bank, we'll just make a simple example. If you have 10 grand in the bank and you're getting 1% interest or something like that, or, or, or but let's, whatever interest rate you're getting, at the end of the month you're going to have like $10,001. You with me? The next month you'll get interest on $10,001. It'll give you a little bit more. And that keeps on adding and adding. That's called compound, compound interest, where interest is getting tacked on to interest. We're going to talk about compound interest now. This is a more realistic example. This is how you calculate interest for buying a car. Interest for having money in a bank. Interest for pretty much everything that, that we do in real life, besides borrowing from friends. Hope you find this useful, because at some point you are going to have interest in your life somewhere. <coughs> you, you already have it if you have a bank account. So again, compound interest means you're adding interest per, uh, periodically throughout a course of time. It means interest on interest. The formula is slightly different. Here's the formula. This formula is different because it will give you the total amount due, not just the interest. Notice on the last one how you had to add the interest to your amount that you borrowed from or the, the amount that you had in the bank. This one, you don't have to do that. It will give you the whole amount uh, before, or so completely within the formula. So you don't have to add anything at the end. It's kind of nice. Here's how it works. What was your P again? Principal. What's R again? Rate. What's T? Time and years. Time and years, that's right. The new one is N. A stands for the amount, the amount that you're, you're going to have in the bank or the amount that you're going to owe, depending on whether you're borrowing or investing money. P still stands for the principal. R still stands for the rate. T is still the number of years. Here's what N is. N's the key to this. Y'all were real good at finding principal, right? And the rate, it's pretty easy, it's the percentage. T is the years, no problem. N's where people have a hard time. N is the number of compounds per year. The number of compounds per year. Here's the, that means in English. It means the amount of times you're getting interest tacked on per year. Number of compounds per year. For interest, if what now? What is that thing? Um, if n equals a number. 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 Number of compounds per year. So let's say I'm a bank and you come to me and you go, okay, I need to borrow money. And I say, I compound interest semi annually. How many times is semi annually to you? Twice. twice. Semi annually means twice. So that means your n would be two. You get interest tacked on twice a year. Do you get it? Annually would be one. What would quarterly be, do you think, for? What would monthly be? Twelve. Why twelve? How many months are in a year? Twelve. Okay. Somebody else, someone on this side. How about weekly? <coughs> weekly? How many weeks are in a year? So that you get interest 52. There's 52 weeks in a year. Right? I hope so. There's not just four weeks in a year, because otherwise our semester would be like four years long. That would suck. 
No, there's 52 weeks in a year. What if it was daily? How many days are there in a year? 365 days in a year. So you would get interest every single day. That would be 365 times. Are you clear on this? So you need to write this down or have it memorized. Both, actually, because I'm not going to give it to you on the board. Here's the different number of compounds. If you get something annually, Christmas comes annually, that means you get it one time a year. Semi-annually means you get something twice a year. Quarterly, same thing at the lake of the dollar. How many quarters are in a dollar? Then there's four quarters in a year. That would be four. Four times a year. Monthly means you'd get interest tacked on every single month. There are 12 months in a year, so your end would be 12. Weekly means every week. Get interest every single week. There's 52 weeks in a year. Daily, the last one we'll talk about in this class. There's 365 days in a year. So if you had daily compound interest, that means every single day you're getting a little interest tacked on. They had a little more. They had a little more. 365 times for the whole year. There's also another one which uses a different formula, which we're not going to talk about. It's called continuously compounded interest. That means that every moment of every second of every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month of every year, you're getting interest tacked on to what you owe or to what you have in the bank. Continuously compounded every single moment. You're getting a little bit more interest. Would you like to see an example of how this works in real life? You do an example? Okay, how much, uh, how much money do you want to spend on a car? 25, okay, I like it. So you buy a car for 32,000, you put 7,000 down, you're gonna get $25,000 financed. You better know how to do this, because your, your finance guys might take advantage of you, give you a different interest rate, or calculate this incorrectly, and you're gonna be a world of hurt. Uh, usually, interest rates are actually pretty low right now, but typically a, a decent car rate is about five and a quarter percent if you have decent, okay credit. You have great credit, you can get down like three percent. There's 0.9 percent financing if you have outstanding credit right now at BMW. Uh, but let's just say, just <laughs> because I love BMW, yeah, oh, can't afford it, but want it. So you buy a car for twenty-five thousand dollars, and they say your interest rate is going to be five point two five percent. And they say it's compounded monthly. For a period of five years. What I want to know is this. Let's say you 